Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Varun Malhotra. I work as senior consultant in cataract, cornea and refractive surgeries at Center for Sight Eye Hospital in Banjara Hills, Hyderabad. Now LASIK was the first surgery which was introduced and hence the terminology has become very common. As doctors, we call this as refractive surgeries and there are six different procedures which can be done to remove glasses. It has become very helpful for you know people who play a lot of sports uh, because they may not have to wear glasses while playing golf or while playing a cricket. You know, uh, professional dancers, you know, people who require it for their profession, somebody like an Air Force pilot or somebody who aspires to go to the Army or the Navy. One of the main important criteria is that they should have unaided 6-6 vision. A lot of software professionals now also come because of the ease of comfort. They can go on for long hours. These are very stressful working hours, 10 hours, 11 hours. They can do this without glasses. People also want to look better without glasses. The need for cosmesis has grown up dramatically in the last 10 years. So one of the most common surgery which is advised to a patient is something called as PRK, photorefractive keratectomy or surface ablation. Now in surface ablation or a PRK, we remove the top layer of the cornea which is called as epithelium and then use the excimer laser to reshape the cornea or ablate the cornea to make the power zero. Now this is a flapless procedure. By flapless we mean there is no cut in the cornea. But in surface ablation procedures we are directly exposing the corneal tissue to the laser. And therefore the time period for recovery is a little longer, maybe about 4 to 6 weeks. The second procedure is called as LASIK which is the most common terminology which people know. Now in LASIK, we generally use a blade to make a cut in the cornea. We lift the flap up and then use the excimer laser to reshape your cornea and put the flap back. Now as you can understand, there is a cut here, 270 degree cut in the cornea and this takes about 4 to 5 days to heal. The advantage of LASIK is that since you are not exposing the top layer of the cornea, to the laser the healing is a little faster maybe within a week to 10 days is when the patient recovers vision the third surgery is called as femtosecond assisted lasik or femto lasik wherein this flap or the cut in the cornea is not made with the help of a blade but made with the help of a femto laser now once we use the femto laser to cut the cornea and lift the flap up then we use the excimer laser to reshape it the advantage of this surgery is that it is more controlled because you don't have a blade here. You are, it is a completely bladeless procedure. You are doing the whole surgery only with the help of lasers. And when you put the flap back, this sits very beautifully. The edges are very well opposed. So the healing is even faster. It, you know, it can take only two to three days for this flap to heal completely. The newest form of refractive surgeries are known as lenticule extraction surgeries, more commonly known as smile and silk. Now, in these procedures, we don't cut the flap or don't make a long incision at all. We just make a small 3 mm incision, one pin goes inside, it creates a lenticule or cuts the cornea corresponding to your power and this lenticule is then taken out. So in layman language, we can call this as a laparoscopic refractive surgery, a very small incision surgery. These keyhole incisions will heal in 24 hours and the recovery of the patient is much faster. Since you are not cutting the cornea, the cornea remains much stronger and the chances of any small power also coming back is almost negligible. Now there are a few subset of patients where the power is very high, powers like 12, 13, 14 or patients where the corneal thickness is very less, it is lesser than 470 microns. In these kind of patients, a laser cannot be done at all. And in these are the patients where we advise something called as ICL. Now ICL stands for implantable collamer lens. Collamer is the material by which these lenses are made. 
now you make a we make a very small incision and introduce these lenses these lenses are rolled and injected inside the eye and placed inside between the normal human lens and a muscle called as iris and there is a space in between these two where we implant these lenses these lenses permanently sit inside the eye and make your power zero and as a result you do not have to use any laser on the cornea so there can be no complications of the laser on the cornea at all icls can be of two different types simple icl or a toric icl simple icl is used to correct spherical powers and toric icls are used to correct spherical powers along with astigmatism so in toric iuls it is very important to place the icl in a particular position so as to make the power zero now there are some patients which which have powers like 20 21 i've personally treated a power up to 24 also these are the patients where you have to combine the two technologies you have to combine the laser and the icl because an icl may only be able to correct powers up to 16 and the power which is left behind like 6 7 or 8 has to be corrected with the help of laser and this kind of a technique is called as bioptics where you combine both follow planet lasik and post your queries to get answers from the experts